Trimble's driver vehicle inspection report makes it possible to record defects, verify the safety of a vehicle, and make edits to completed inspections electronically. It is an additional service that is turned on by your carrier. In this video, we will review how to complete a Trimble DVIR after entering and exiting an on-driver status from your mobile device. Let's begin. A DVIR automatically prompts you under two conditions, entering or exiting the on-driver status, adding or removing a trailer. Completing a DVIR after entering an on-driver status. The Enter Inspection Information window opens. You may need to manually enter your odometer reading and location information. Tap Request DVIR. The system retrieves the inspection information. The status message on the Enter Inspection Information window now shows DVIR received. Tap OK. The Inspection Summary screen opens. This displays who created the inspection and when, the asset type being inspected, your location, and the odometer reading. Any trailers you've added will be listed next to the vehicle ID in the upper left of the screen. Tap the trailer ID to access its inspection information. Tap Next to move forward with the inspection process. The Certify and Submit window opens. Tap Yes if the vehicle is safe to operate. Tap No if the vehicle is not safe to operate. Tap the field under Yes or No to enter notes or comments about the inspection. Tap Done to submit the inspection. If you operate in Canada and the ELD has lost connection to the vehicle, the change to driver's log confirmation window opens. This informs you that required data elements were omitted from the inspection event. Refer to your carrier for assistance. Tap Confirm to close the window. Completing a DVIR after exiting an on-driver status. The Enter Inspection Information window opens. You may need to manually enter your odometer reading and location information. Tap OK. The Select an Inspection screen opens. Your vehicle and any trailers you've added will be listed here. The inspection status remains incomplete until you report any defects, if found. The selected asset type is highlighted in gray. To select a different asset type, tap the asset ID. Tap No Defects to indicate an asset type is safe to operate. The inspection status of the asset changes from incomplete to no defects. Repeat this process for all assets with no defects. To list any defects you have found on an asset, tap Add Defects. The inspection screen opens to a list of parts. The asset type you are inspecting is listed at the top. Tap the part where the defect was found. You can scroll for more options. The defects list for the selected part opens. Tap the checkbox to select all applicable defects. If a defect is not listed, tap the other defect field to manually enter the defect. Once all defects are recorded, tap done. The Select an Inspection screen reopens. The inspection status of the asset changes from incomplete to defects added. Repeat this process for all assets with defects. Once all defects are recorded, tap Next. 
the inspection summary screen opens. Any defects added to an asset are listed on the bottom left of the screen. Once you've reviewed the information entered, tap Finish. If you operate in Canada and the ELD has lost connection to the vehicle, the change to driver's log confirmation window opens. This informs you that required data elements were omitted from the inspection event. Refer to your carrier for assistance. Tap Confirm to close the window. You have completed the Trimble DVIRs on and off duty training video. To learn more about this product, visit our Learning Center to access on-demand training and online help.